In this video, we will explore the phenomenon of self-assembly. Self-assembly is defined as the spontaneous self-organization of individual units into an ordered structure. Self-assembly is driven by a particle's desire to be in the most stable and low energy state possible. This occurs for various particle sizes and shapes, from nanoscale particles up to macroscale objects. In this video, we will be using various sequins to find out how different shaped particles affect self-assembly. The binding force is the force that brings our particles together and keeps them together once they've assembled, which in our case is capillary force. Self-assembly also depends on the physical and chemical properties of the environment. Our environment will be water. We will be stirring our particles to provide a driving force to the system. Here we can see that most of the circles have stuck together in a hexagonal arrangement. Capillary forces are bringing the particles together. The sequins displace a little of the water and distort the liquid surface. Many of these distortions increase the energy of the system, so to decrease the energy, the particles are drawn together, which decreases the overall amount of distortion. The stars have not bonded well due to their complex shape. Here we can see the pointy parts of the stars orienting themselves in the gaps of the other stars. This is called shape complementarity. But there is no order to this arrangement and the strength of the capillary bonds is weak. The circles assemble in a hexagonal formation again, but they also fill in the gaps of the stars. This arrangement forms very strong capillary bonds. Depletion forces are present too. These occur when the gaps between large particles that are hard to fill are occupied by smaller particles. In summary, the circle particles bonded very well together in an orderly hexagonal arrangement. However, the stars did not bond together very well. The forces were weak and the arrangement was random due to their complex shape. But together, the circles and stars bonded excellently. The circles maintained an orderly arrangement and were able to fill in the gaps between the stars, making a stable structure.